what's up you guys but even though i take forever to upload there's one thing i'm not missing and it is a black friday haul i have been waiting actually to record this video for like a good timing to have my makeup look a little better to have the lighting look a little better but if i keep waiting the video is just not gonna happen and we're just gonna keep it real right now no uh i'm breaking out my makeup is not the greatest right now but we are here and we will continue with our black friday haul i feel like i didn't get as much this year as the uh, um two previous years that i've recorded <laughs> But I did get some things that I had really wanted and then I also think I got more online than I did in store this year And it's just because we don't really have any good stores in El Paso Thankfully we have one that I really love But I don't think we really have any good ones and that the Black Friday deals were not black at all So without further ado, let's get into it. I think the first thing that I got this was like even a little bit before Black Friday, but it stayed the same deal throughout their Black Friday um, sale with Mr. Ralph Lauren himself. Um, online, um, regular Ralph Lauren, they had 40% off your entire purchase if you spent $125 or more. Two things for myself online and then a gift. I usually don't show gifts and I won't show like um, so i guess i did shop a little more but i'm not showing at all the presents i'm not even saying like from what store um but this will be the exception since it's for my little nephew and he, he's not gonna see it in my video i think the polo section the polo the bear section is the most adorable thing in the entire world for little kids and oh my god i really want to see him wearing this Mm, I really hope this fits him. It looks like it might fit him. Or more, I got a cardigan. I have been wanting. I okay. I'm gonna say this about almost anything from them anyway. But I generally have been wanting for quite a while already one of their cardigans or their crew like sweater necks. Um, but this was on sale on top of the 40% off that they were having. So I got it because I have their um polo shirt and i thought this on top of that would look great oh i did <laughs> i did get this on the girls section hoping that a larger 12 to 14 would fit me and i think it would i would try it out right now if not i guess it would be another gift for someone else then i got another girl's sweater because they didn't have it for adult and i just thought this was really cute see this is an extra large and 16 so this will for sure fit me it's cute embroidery it says polo but it's so adorable it's very christmasy oh i think i just wear this tomorrow this is really cute it's polo ralph lauren and i just like how the embroidery of this is um yes yeah, so that was my ralph lauren online haul so we keep the same vibes going i guess the outlet stores. We don't have a Ralph Lauren or any of their, his other stores here, but we do have the outlet, which to me, some things that are online is almost very similar to what they have in their outlet store. So I don't know how they work it out. I know it might be different, but a lot of things that are online or even in New York that I saw in the regular stores were in the outlet store that we have. They were having 50% off everything and 20% off um i think like the polo bear if i'm not wrong or 30 something like that and accessories so like jewelry handbag shoes all that good stuff i didn't get any accessories or shoes but i did get some clothing so i have this in white and this is my opportunity to get it in blue i wear a lot of this kind of shirts so i think i only it was only 49 dollars and i got mine for 128 at new york original price so that was pretty good and then i got the baby blue one i think these are colors that will go 1000 percent with a lot of things oh my god so i've been really getting into wearing more of my boots like my west my cowboy boots and all that stuff and if you guys know ralph lauren has a country like um line that he does and I got this shirt to wear on a, a casual day because these are my two love for now. Anything country and Ralph Lauren. If you guys didn't 
see the theme of my tree. It's a little bit country there. Did add the little green, a little burgundy to make it Rolfy. But overall, that's kind of the theme of Christmas I went for this year. Second, I got a quarter zip um, sweater. This is actually from the kids. So the, the other three previous pieces are um, on the women's section and this was on the boys section because obviously um well not obviously but they didn't have this in the women's section so then to me obviously i went to go check on the boys in the little girl section i find more on the boys when i'm at the store and ta-da i got this quarter sip in green this has been one of my favorite colors um for fall and winter and super cozy and lastly another t-shirt but this is oh i love it so much the cutest thing ever it's a tea with the little bear and his little ralph's cup i wanted a ralph's cup so bad i regret not getting it when i was in new york because i wanted like the tea cup and they only had like the mug mug if that makes sense um so yeah i did have to cancel a trip that i had during december with my friends but they're still going um i'm staying back so i'm gonna ask for them if they could just bring it back for me because i love ralph's next and it was still from the outlets i had never been to the store it's called for all my mankind seven or seven for all my kind whatever it is it's a pretty pricey store but I think just because it was an outlet store, it was already a little bit discounted. I mean, it was so pricey with the, the regular discount that they had. But if you bought three things or more, you had a 70% off. I don't know if that sounds like a do good deal or not, but I think being on sale and on top of that, a 70% off was incredible. Chris got a crap load of things there, like a lot. He brought back like four of these bags and they're pretty big. Um, I didn't really have a lot of time and I was getting a little frustrated because his employees there, I know it's their job, but they're really pressuring me to like looking and buying into a lot of things, Well, which usually wouldn't be a bad thing, but I guess it was so early and I was hungry and all this stuff that like, um, I'll just buy these. So I got a little cardigan. It's a cute little cardigan. I have one of those I had thrifted, but it was already like ruffling up in some places. So I thought this was a really good choice. See, it says originally, it's $228. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> On the outlet price, it was $179. And then it was discounted $233. And then to $69.98. And then 70% off $69. I don't know if it's because it was like out of season or another, whatever it was. But here's the tag to prove. And then next thing, I got this denim dress. A pretty, pretty thick denim. Um, I got this thing I can wear with my boots or like white go-go boots and I think it would look either really country or really go-go girl. This was originally 248 and then the outlet price is 199 then they reduced it to 148 then $99, and then $79, and I got the 70% off the $79. So I think those were really good deals. Oh, another outlet store was... I have been wanting some pair of Buka jeans for a while already um, because I always wear the same um, pair of jeans that I have and I really, really like them. The only thing that I have trouble with is that they are mid-rise and I'm a high-rise girly. So I went in and I got myself some high-rise Buka jeans. Or also because high rise tend to be flare and I don't really like flare to have some of those. Just want it would cut. And I have already worn these in our trip to Rodeo, so they are really comfy and I really like them. These are pretty comfy and it was a really good purchase. Next up, an app Chris had a bag like three times the size of this one. He got more things. I'm pretty disappointed because this is the same sale they could have on and off during the year. Um, but I love Abercrombie & Fitch. Also, they had 25% off the entire store. So I just got two tees. They're originally 45 each, so I think I probably paid like 30 or, yeah, 30 something or 29, something around there, I don't know. I got this bodysuit of this um, tee because I really, really, really love their tees, but the other one that's not a bodysuit, the little line right here, um, will go in and out. And sometimes I don't have time 
to take the extra step and iron specifically that side. And this one doesn't really have it. I don't know if you could tell. Pretty seamless. And I would have gotten it in white, but they did not have it in my size. This other pillow tee that thing would look really cute with my slacks or any like jeans and then the ballet flats. So it has like the tiniest um, mock neck. Is it mock neck? I think it's mock neck. And then the sleeves are cut short and it has a little bit of ruffling on the sides. And yeah, that's all I got at Abercrombie because I was pretty disappointed on their sale. From the mall, I told Chris if I could have the 40 second challenge, like run at Sephora, I could get anything I wanted. But he was paying for my nails that day. Um, so I got 30 seconds. I was so nervous. My heart was speeding so fast. I really didn't think it was going to happen. And my brain kind of blocked off of the things that I have been wanting and where they were because it's just kind of like rush and then it was Black Friday so it was a little bit more packed. First thing I did was go into the Dior sale. They did, oh my god, Fenty is having 30% off and I could have gone there and spent less money but like I'm telling you, my brain blocked off. So um, from Dior, I got both of these which I have already used. It's a lip glow in mahogany, I believe. Yeah, in mahogany. It looks really dark and intimidating on camera and even in person, but it's like it's like a lip balm, so it doesn't have a lot of payoff, but it feels really nice. So I know people say it's overpriced. I know I'm paying for the packaging. I think it's good. So I would have I would have been mad if I'm paying for packaging and it's then not a good product. So I'm glad it is. Do you think it's a little overpriced, but I really, really love the Dior beauty section. And then I would, th this was next to the blush, but the blushes were sold out, so that was a loose. And then I got the lip plumper. I was also looking for, I, I think it's also called mahogany, but they didn't have it. Cause I even went back after it was done. I was like, can I just change the color? And they didn't have it. So this was the next one that I wanted. And it is in the shade, I think it was like rose nude or something like that. It doesn't, it doesn't have it, but I'm pretty sure it was Something around those lines. Um, oh, this is actually the one I'm wearing already, but it is so pretty. It smells like peppermint. And I got it. And then and next, I got the lip injections by Too Faced. Mm, I didn't really mind which color I got there. I kind of went for like the um, rosy nude colors. I had also been wanting this one, and this one I had been wanting it more because of the packaging. It's less expensive than the Dior, but I think it's cute. It is more on the pinky side. And the Dior is more on like the nude side. Both really cute. And I'm glad I got them because I'm a lip, lip gloss lip balm girly. Then I worked to Tower 28 and I was about to grab another lip gloss. But in my head I'm like, that's all you've gotten lip products so far. Get with it girl. Get something else. And I got the blush. But in all reality, I also have a load of blushes at home. So I will be going back and returning this. Um, if I can, it's a Tower 28 blush in the shade After Hours. I had been wanting a purplish plum because I heard that's like the color for brown girlies, but I got the purple blush from Juvia's Place and maybe I didn't blend it out. Maybe I didn't know how to work it out, but I don't think I'm going to get another purple blush. It's really pretty, but I haven't even like swapped it or anything because I will be going back and returning this since my brain just blocked off. In those 30 seconds following that i had been wanting these so badly the love shack fancy perfumes these are the little testers i love i love 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 shack fancy with my entire heart i just die whenever i go inside one of their stores but i mean maybe the the pink one or was it the yellow one i don't remember which one is not that bad but to me they smell um grandma-ish per se and i would totally keep this if it wasn't because of the packaging but this was 65 dollars, so i think i will be returning this um all i did was nip them and i really didn't like the scent so i will, I will also be returning these or exchanging these for something else because for 65 dollars, i will not be keeping this for the package and then oh, this was a win and a fail let me show you why next to love shark fancy was the 85 dollars sampler perfume and if you didn't know it's all these little samples of that come in here and at the end when you choose whichever one you like better 
you go back and they give you a full size of that so you have a bunch of your little samples um i had been wanting them for a long time but my adrenaline did not see um this is not the perfume that i wanted there's one with like the um white l the like the more i guess named brands that i know this one says for the clean girl and although some of them do smell good um it's not the one i wanted so that's the loose but the win is that i still get a full size i was about to drop this um but when chris paid for it i didn't know she said it was a final sale so you can't return it and i was literally there at the register i was like can i leave this and she's like i'm sorry it's final sale so i'll just go ahead and take advantage and get myself a full size hopefully one that i really like <laughs> oh, huh. They were having some pretty good deals. Um, they were the same deals that they have for their like spring or fall sale, I think that it is that they have. But since they only have it once or twice a year, I I really do take advantage of it. And this time they had some pretty good deals, especially because they have like gift sets and all this. This, oh my god, the philosophy washes are so good. This is only $10. I think you could probably get one of these a little bit bigger for like $12 at tj but it's kind of like the sense that they have there you can't really pick which set of them all you want uh anointed ew got some in my mouth so anyway i got the peppermint body wash i really oh my god is this my finger or what i love candy cane or peppermint anything it's such a festive thing but I don't think I like this one. <laughs> okay, this doesn't really smell pepperminty, okay? It smells like soap, but like not a good one at all. Okay, I think I'm gonna be returning the scent on this one. Mm -mm, I really didn't like it. It's still a really good steal. It's $10. And it had other scents, so I will be just changing the scent on this because I really, really love like the scent of like the peppermint swirl that they have about the Bath Works. It's so good. Mm -mm. And then, oh, they had these. Five for ten dollars. So I got, um, I think I got a good amount of these. It's a bunch of these. It's a little um, lip gloss and a little hand cream. Because I want to do like a gingerbread house or something. Um, invite my friends and have like a little cute girls night here So I want to give them like a stocking stuffer But I also ordered which is part of it on Amazon these little cups and I will be using my Cricut to write down their names So I want to make either get a stocking or a little basket and then just invite them over have a girls night And then have these little cute stuffing in there you know? And then I got this hair mask because it was 99 cents And I think I have to take a little bit better care of my hair It's a tea tree oil hair and sculpt treatment mask for 99 cents and it's an allure your alert i don't know how to pronounce it product so 99 cents is pretty pretty dang good i bought this and i generally thought this was gonna be a muller i got the sexy hair big spray and play harder um because whenever i do a blowout i feel like my hair after like hours or even the next day and i'll retouch it loses volume even if i retouch it so i had been wanting that little powder you know when you get your hair done and it, it makes it like really voluminous they use that at like hair salons or something but i'm not 100 percent sure how to use it and i don't know if it's going to leave like residue for the next day or something but this seemed like the next better option hairspray and i do use hairspray anyway even when i want to like slick back my hair or something I've heard good stuff about this. I only paid $10 for this baby right here. So I'm excited to try that one out. Oh, I just, this is 99 cents. I just got the lotion because I was missing one more dollar. I had $10 off of $50 or more. Um, I had $49. I just needed one more dollar. There was really nothing I wanted. So I just got this peppermint swirl lotion. See, I love anything peppermint swirl. And, oh. I got the Bye Bye Panda Eyes. I've heard good stuff about this in TikTok, so it's about time I try it. I do have like the better than sex, but I don't know. It, it wasn't cutting it for me this year. And I'm usually a Maybelline um, mascara girly. I love that mascara ever since my friend showed it to me. It's been my ride or die. But 
this was really cheap, so I was like, I might as well. Oh, I forgot. And then also this. This is also pretty cheap. It's a banana powder um, in translucent. I'm, I'm running out of my um, powder. So I just thought it was a pretty good time to just buy one and test it out. See if I like it or not. It was, I think it was only like $4. And it's just, it's a super matte and no flashback. Let's see how that works. And that was pretty much all the stuff that I got on Ulta. And yeah, that was my Black Friday haul for this year, guys. Um, I'm pretty excited. I think I got um, really good things that either I wanted or I needed. And I, I'm kind of going into quality over quantity because even though it was a little more pricey than, I guess, let's say previous years, I know for sure that I got things that will last me even longer. I think clothes last me, even if I get it from Ross, for a really long time. I think my clothes last me a really good amount of time and I take care of it really good. But obviously getting like a $25 sweater over like 100 and something and not even paying full price. Um, I, I think I'm going to get my money's worth out of it. And it was just something that I really wanted. And if there was 50, 40% off, why not? So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed your Black Friday, Cyber Monday shopping, if you did. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I will be doing my 12 videos of my 12 days of Christmas videos. This will be the first video in that series. I forgot to mention that. But starting today, I will be having my 12 videos days. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Um, of Christmas. And I'm really excited. I think I did a pretty good job last year at keeping up with it, but I wasn't able to finish it. I think I was missing two more videos. So, fingers crossed this year I get to actually meet that goal. And yeah, I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you guys in my next video.